Welcome everybody back to the channel. It's Conger Live and today I want to help you understand stats and status effects. There's some ambiguity behind what is defense? Because traditionally what we understand defense to be is something that might be considered resistance to physical attacks or just resistance and toughness uh, kind of stat. But in this game, defense is not that. Defense is what other games would call protection, barrier, shield. Defense is another bar above your health bar, the white bar, which actually is what takes damage before your health. So that's why defense is so strong. As you can see, Ace has some defense now because of his ability. Donatello, when he uses his special, there it is, he gives defense, that white bar goes up to his friends in that zone. Now I'm gonna lose this uh, story battle, um, but what I want you guys to understand is that white bar, that is defense. I would love to see as you guys saw the white bar shown down here on our characters so we can see more clearly who has defense, who doesn't. Um, but that's what defense is. Defense is what other games would call a shield or a barrier or protection. All right. So that's the first thing I want to get out of the way. You guys understand what is defense. And that's why defense is so strong and so powerful. It's extra health, basically. But it's not health, right? That green bar is your health bar. And if we go into our characters, and I'm just going to click on Donnie here to start, you can see 45.6k. That is Donnie's health, all right? 48.7k. That is Casey Jones' health. That is the amount of health points that that character has, okay? Now, there's all these other stats in here. There's your total power or your turtle power, as I like to call it, all right? We have over here, and there's two different symbols. We have the ninja star, which is physical damage that's the his physical damage stat his base stat where his damage skills are worked off of so you can see he does 9.73k physical damage over two hits and then down here we have the plus 209 from equipment so 209 of this 1.75k is his equipment and that affects his physical damage let me show you i'm going to go to my equipment i'm going to unequip all We'll go back to train, and you can see there's no weapon bonus, and now he's at 1.56. And if I go to his skill, it's now only 8.68. So equipment really does make a huge difference. He's also probably lost some hit points there. He did. Okay. So uh, equip all. He's got a lot more hit points. He's got more attack, right? And so that's why equipment is so important. Now, when you go to your turtle power, you'll see that it's actually plus equipment down here and when it breaks it all down we have our ooze level which is the level of your character right we have your star level which is how many stars there are that determines these multipliers the dimension level which is that hexagon um, that's how many duplicates or copies of the character you've had and the dojo level is what level is your dojo at and it's, mine's only at level 71 and the equipment power here once again is 2094 so it only shows 209 here because it's only going to give 209 to the base. But when it comes to your total power, it's giving you 2094. And the reason why I wanted to point that out is because there's kind of a glitch in how things are being shown on Ace Duck. It says that he gets 2,117 uh, bonus from his weapons. Well, that's the same bonus that's here. And it's actually only 211. That's the bonus for his his base energy damage, right? The lightning bolt is the energy damage. That's why I wanted to kind of come over here, hit two birds with one stone. We got the energy damage. Um, this is a glitch, so I'm gonna make sure that they know about it. The devs know about that. So by the time you've watched this video, the devs have, have seen that. Once again, the level that's the ooze level and the dimension level over here. So that's kind of how you understand what your basic stats are for your, your character. But I also want to go now and talk to you about status effects. So we're going to go back into a fight and we're going to 
take a look at those status effects. Okay. So to see the status effects, you can click on your character, and I'll just click on Ace for now. And of course, it tells you, you know, it's a lot of similar stats, right? The hit points, the blaster, um, the energy damage, his rolls, his skills. But if you scroll down, and you may be able to see this um, more easily in your profile view as I am locked in widescreen, the status effects. Now, Ace starts with 30 haste and 15 will. Um, but we have alertness, armor, barrier, strength, focus, haste, and will. I'm going to leave a link in the description below to the Zen Desk, where it kind of gives us some description of what these status effects are. So some skills can trigger a status effect, a temporary effect that can help your squad or hinder your opponent. Most status effects have a visual effect you can easily see while in battle. And in this example, this is like the stun effect, right? And you can see some other um, things like if someone's slowed or has negative haste, they have like little rings around them or if they're um, rooted, things like that, right? Um, to make it more easily to understand the character, the effect they're under, and you can tap on the character and see what we just kind of talked about, right? So then they also break down here, which is really nice, uh, The all the different stats. The combat status screen will show a number of things, the status effects, your total power, and the status effect. So alertness, what does alertness actually do? It increases or decreases defense gain. So this doesn't affect the skill that gives defense, it affects the defense gained after the effect. So uh, it's not going to affect the person giving the defense, it's going to be affecting the person receiving it. So use Donnie, for example, who gives defense with his special. Um, if Casey has negative alertness, he's actually going to gain less defense, where if he's standing next to, say, Toka, uh, and Toka's alertness is up, Toka's going to get more defense gained based on their personal alertness. Donnie's alertness is not going to affect how much he gives, only how much he himself will gain with those skills. Okay, so that's what alertness does. That's all it does, is affect how much defense is gained, right? It's like the last step multiplier that goes in before you get it. Armor increases or decreases physical damage taken. So this is what other games might call physical resistance, right? This is a check before your actual damage is taken that will reduce the damage if you have a positive armor or it'll increase the damage if you have negative armor right and the barrier is the same thing except for that is for the energy damage as opposed to physical damage remember barrier is not a shield right barrier is your energy damage resistance in a sense right that's the best way i can explain it for those who play other games so I want to disambiguate. I want to take away the ambiguity behind some of these things. Now, strength is your physical damage. Notice how it has that ninja star in there. So, strength is basically a direct effect to a damage boost or reducing the damage. The difference between strength and armor is strength is, of course, the damage you're putting out, armor is the damage you're taking. Um, and focus is the same thing for the energy damage uh, as strength is for physical damage. More focus, more damage. Right? So if a character has energy damage output, maybe you want to pair them with someone who gives them increased focus right? to maximize that character. We have a few more stats down here. We have haste, which increases or decreases the rate of attacks. So every character has their own hidden attack speed, right? How fast they use their basic attack. Well, by increasing their haste, they're going to attack more quickly. By decreasing that haste, they will attack more slowly. Now, we'll get to slow in a minute, right? Will increases or decreases the rate of skills. So skills are not just your special, but the other skills that happen after a certain amount of time. And that's also like a hidden stat. How often do they use that ability that's not their special ability? 
but will also affects how fast you're gonna get your special off. So increasing your will is gonna increase how often you can use your specials and all the other skills that happen. Okay, and then stun, that's very straightforward. There's nothing ambiguous about stun. Um, it disables attacks, movement, active, and auto skills. So stun shuts your character down. You can't do anything with stun. Or with silence, it disables your active and your auto skills, but you can still attack, you can still move, you still use the basic attack. So si silence is not as bad, you just can't use any skills. That's pretty straightforward. Disarm disables attacks, that's your basic attack, but you can still use skills while disarmed. Okay, and root disables movement. Root is probably the least important one. Most of the time your characters are standing still anyways, but if a skill asks a character to move, they won't be able to use that skill while they're rooted. I'm pretty sure the root prevents them from using that skill. So it kind of is a silence, but only silences movement skills. And then slow reduces movement speed by 50%. Slow is not that important. Most characters don't need to move around the board that much, other than when they eliminate a character, they move to the tile next to it or if they do have a movement skill. But even so, since the skills happen with their animation and the rate, the slow doesn't really affect that too much. So slow is another thing you don't have to worry too much about unless there's other bonuses or detriments that you get because you're slowed. Like if someone's text says that they do more damage if they're slowed, like Frosty, for example. If he's, uh, that's, that's why. You would want to avoid slow, something like that. Okay, so those are the status effects, and this is the description as to what they are. So I wanted to make sure that you guys understood what is defense, what do all these status effects do, how do they affect us in the game, all right? Okay, so I hope this clears things up for you guys. I hope you understand uh, how this goes. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember, the whole point of these videos I want to help you guys game smarter. Let's give us a like, go ahead and subscribe if you don't already, and we'll see you in the next video.